so just a few days until the Six Nations gets up and running again. And before the teams get announced, I thought I'd do a short video with my ideas going into round three. We'll look at the fixtures and who is best to target. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first game of the weekend is Scotland versus France. And my word, what a game this looks to be. France are of course in fine form, but Scotland are grieving from last week's loss to Wales after starting the tournament with a good win against England. We all remember last year when Scotland stunned France, leaving them without a Grand Slam or Six Nations title. For Scotland, this was a momentous win as it solidified that they are now a competitive team year on year. So I'm sure they will want to prove this again with a strong performance over the informed side in the Championship. Of course, France will be cautious not to slip up and maintain their 100% record. But it won't be an easy game, especially if we keep having all these storms and bad weather. I'm afraid that that will only suit one team, and that's Scotland. And just on a side note, it's 10 years ago since Scotland captain Stuart Hogg scored his first try against this week's opponents France. Do you think he'll be able to do it again next week? The second game of the weekend is England versus Wales, and what a game this promises to be. Manu Tuilangi is back and looks to be set for a return, which will really strengthen that England side. Maybe good enough to put straight into your fancy team? Let me know down in the comments. Another man who looks to be back in contention is Taulupe Falatau, who played 80 minutes for Bath last week. How important do you think he is to this Wales side? And will you be putting him in your fancy team too? I will say this. It's a tough one to call. But I will be backing England, just on the basis that they have the home advantage. If it were in Wales, well, then I'd probably back Wales. Let me know your score predictions down below in the comments. And the final game of the weekend is another cracker, in Ireland versus Italy. The last two fixtures alone, Ireland has scored 50 and 48 points, and I do expect them to bounce back hard from last week's loss to France. Unfortunately, I don't hold much hope for Italy, as well as them travelling to Ireland. With the return of James Lowe imminent, I think it will boost the Ireland side even more. But do you think he deserves to get straight back into the side, after Hansen and Conway are both performing exceptionally? We'll have to wait and see. But of course, I'm already looking to target the main Irish players who will hopefully bag a whole load of points this weekend. So, as I said, it would be a short video. I hope you enjoyed. I thought I'd bring out this little video just before my team selection so that you know I'm still here. So, turn on notifications and subscribe to never miss out. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on Friday for round three team selection.